The range of treatment options is certainly becoming more restricted than it was in the past. In particular, the penicillin derivatives, the beta-lactams, uh, have lost activity against uh, enteric gram-negative uh, organisms and pseudomonas, uh, primarily because of the emergence of beta-lactamases that have um, um, uh, acquired the ability to degrade many of the commonly used cephalosporin and penicillin derivatives that we used in the past uh, to treat these infections. So um, we, we do have options, but they're, they're increasingly limited. Um, there was, for example, a recent um, advisory from the CDC um, uh, following uh, the identification of, a, of a, an E. coli infection, a UTI, in the United States. Uh, uh, this organism had uh, acquired resistance to colistin. It carries uh, um, a plasmid with a resistance gene, MCR1. Uh, that um, limits the activity of cholestin. Uh, and there's great concern that um, fat plasmin may spread. And because these plasmids carry multiple resistance determinants, uh, that that will further compromise uh, the activity of the available antibiotics.